is the real killer. This is the one where you've got it all figured out and it all comes crashing down on your head anyway. That white powdered gold. That stuff that nobody's going to have. And whoever has it isn't saying so. <coughs> your blood pressure pills, your nitro, whatever it is that you need to keep it together. That is the one category that I have a very strong sense of very rational fear. You have a population which just normally takes Prozac and Lexapro. <laughs> and you know what? It's not, it's not bad. It's not. It's not. It's there to help people through stressful times. I get it. We should all get it. You should. It, look, it's not a point of judgment. It's a point of recognition. Knowing that it's there in every community. And people that have been using it for years and then go three, four days off, they ain't right. <laughs> this is the part that really will put you into a rough situation because people are not rational into their situations. They're not thinking about tomorrow. They're not even thinking about five minutes from now. It really is just angry and frustrated and can't, can't think through it. And their heart's going a million miles an hour and they just blah, they want everything to be okay. This part, I tell you, if you have critical prescriptions, one year supply. How do you get a whole I'm working on it myself. You know one of the things I've done? <coughs> I've asked to double my medication for my kids or whatever it was. Just ask for it. Just ask for it. They could say no. What's the worst case? They could say no. I, I, I get migraine headaches. I get migraine headaches. So when I came out of the desert, we were exposed to low levels of nerve gas, sarin gas, constantly. Our M256 detectors were going off daily. We flew through the stuff. We got one one thousand to one five hundredth of, 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 of a dose constantly. My little nerves are fried. I get headaches all the time. They're debilitating. I take Imitrex. I did it for years. I just suffered through it. I have figured out a way just by asking, hey, I think that 100 milligrams would do me better than 50 milligrams. I only use 50. But I'm getting 100. Exactly. Okay, you look at that's your thing. Whatever you have to do. We even went to, to the point of trying to order something from overseas. I don't know about what your experience was, but I got burnt. I got sugar pills. You can tell. You can hold the thing in your hand. It's lighter. It's more powdery. It crushes. It's not a pharmaceutical grade product. I don't know what the heck it was, but it wasn't my medication. I paid a good price for it. And you know what? Some other country. What are you going to do? Sick the cops off? Them? They cheated you because they can. So, I don't know. You figure that part out, but you better have an answer for it. Are we on time? Oh, I just have a question. Yeah. A lot of times, your doctor will write you a prescription for more, but your insurance will only pay for, sure. let's say, a month supply. So, if you're willing to pay out of pocket, do it. you can sometimes get your medication. Yeah. Whatever you have to do, figure it out. You can order from drugdelivery.ca, which is in Canada, and they are reliable, high-quality stuff. Okay. Having some alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. Okay, good stuff. Have some, still cheap. One of the main points here is keeping clean. We, we take our really clean environments really for granted. Survival is very dirty all the time. You've got some funky stuff on your hands, going right over your nose, and going right over your kid's face. And right, it's just, it's very dirty. Okay? And part of it you'll build up a resistance to. In the meantime, you're getting sick, and your kids are getting sick, and you have this weird eye infection, and you know, because whatever was on your finger, you scratched your eye, and now it's in your head, and there's no help in you. So just try to keep clean. Antibacterial ordinance. There's a little product called Quick Clot. Hopefully, you won't ever need it. Good stuff if you have to. Though. There's an alternative. Quick Clot's very expensive. I, I my favorite alternative to Quick Clot. That works magnificently. Everybody know what quick clot is? It's a coagulant. 
rapid coagulum. Oh, Dan's got some. Cayenne pepper. Okay. Bang, bang, bleeding, really bad. This is terrible. Quick clock. You stop that stuff. Stop your loss of blood. Loss of blood is horrible. You might make it from the wound itself. But the loss of blood will just take you out. Can you spell it? So what quick clot is just some quick clot. Or there's some other different products. They have some funky ways to spell it with a K and K and C K. So what's your substitute? <laughs> Now, now, I've had some favorites in the field. Boy, I tell you what, there are a few little products. You do these things. I'm serious. You do these things, these three little products. These are awesome. These things will not only help you survive, but all, you will be darn right resilient. A cayenne tincture. Make this stuff. Go buy yourself some 195 proof Everclear. Go buy yourself some Everclear alcohol, pure grain alcohol, moonshine, whatever you want to use. Make sure it's as pure as you can get it. Get yourself a little mason jar. Drop into that, fill it up with your Everclear. Drop into the top of it some of the hottest, nastiest cayenne peppers you can find on the planet. <laughs> These things should blister the paint in the room. They need to be hot. The hottest ones, are, uh, people have said, no, that's the that hottest thing. I, I, look, find whatever you like. If you don't want to get what I recommend, awesome. I'm going to tell you what I found. Scientifically speaking, the Mexican habanero pepper, 200 global heat units. There's only one pepper hotter, and it's a hybrid of a Mexican, uh, uh, it's called a red savina. It's a hybrid, so you can't use the seeds. But the Mexican habanero is a nasty pepper. That is one of the most awesome survival products I have ever made. Ooh, that stuff is good. Because it has an answer to some of the worst situations that, you, that you're going to find yourself in. Hypothermia? You'd be shocked. What does this stuff do? It's a vasodilator. Bang! You're like this one face gets all red. Because your blood vessels just got about that your little blood vessel like this is just went bang, huge. <laughs> Letting in lots of oxygen. Your body loves oxygen. What do you use it for? A number of things. You could use it for, and now that you get powdered for, whatever you can find. Normally it's just uh, literally habaneros, which are about anywhere from 15 to 60,000 square feet. And it's not very hot. But that is some of the world's best quick clock that you can do. The whole earth has 90,000. 90,000 powder? Awesome. Get it. Do you know why? Okay, something that makes your blood vessels go snap huge. Why does it stop you from bleeding? He doesn't always have to. You jam it into your wound, it increases your blood's own natural ability to, to clot. Fast. Really, really, really fast. You get wounded in the outdoors, man, you pack that sucker full of that cayenne pepper. You'll stop the bleeding quickly. You use it for your heart, too. You use it for your heart. You're having a heart condition. Uh, all kinds of stuff. You need to look, your body likes to have a little shot of oxygen. Okay, it runs clean that way. Let's just say, now I'll tell you, under survival situation, I pushed myself on purpose. Pushed myself to the limit. And what I would use it for often, <laughs> Or the boat, and you'll find you will find yourself in the situation. So useful. Keep your butt awake. What? It'll keep you awake. You make your tincture. Okay, let's finish the tincture. We put the little peppers in there. We leave them there for six months. Takes a long time. But by the time those peppers have infused into the alcohol, one drop of that stuff will set you off. How many peppers to face the drop? Six to eight. Yes. It will set you off. All you need is one little tiny vial. Put it inside your little medical kit. One little tiny glass vial. Use a glass vial with a dropper. What size? It's really for, the, the powder is for external. The liquid is for internal use. Drop it right under your tongue. It goes right into your bloodstream. I mean fast. 
Your eyes are this big, your face is bright red, you ain't going to sleep. The last thing you're doing is going to sleep. I've done 36 hour treks, and I'm not a Navy SEAL. I can't do that stuff. You want to replicate the effects? Do it with cayenne pepper. Is that a one quarter or a quarter? One quarter. One quarter? Yeah. You can, look, you can mix it up. Look, the point is, it, when it infuses, it's there. There are very few ways to chemically enhance it to concentrate. Basically, you're, you're shooting for that 200 scoville heat units. It, look, you can use it there for two years or six years or whatever. It's not necessarily, it's going to reach this curve point where it's, it's done about as much as it can without using chemical methods to go ahead and concentrate it. Now, there's another method you can make it in three days, but I don't recommend it. It's like shooting your house full of mace. A blender. <laughs> You will cry. A lot. But you know what? Hey, it feels good. I mean, you're all limber, you're sweating, it feels like you're working out. <laughs> Drop it in your blender. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to use that blender for something else. <laughs> if it doesn't melt. But you blend up your peppers, you drop them into the same thing, three days you're good. It is not the ideal method. It's not. It's, it's, it's doing it by a less... What you really want is that pure particle, that capsicum particle. That's only going to happen to infusion. Okay? It's only going to happen gently over time. You're forcing it. It won't be as powerful. But you need it now, that's how you do it. Blend it, go with it. It'll hurt you just the same. Yes? Yeah. So you're talking both... Topically, orally. Topically, the outside, you use your palate. You could use it for abrasions. You could use it for burns. You could use it for all kinds of stuff that you generally need. It enhances your own body's ability to heal. Okay? You can use this stuff. Yes, ma'am. I am not going to recommend that. I'm not touching that with this point. If you don't have anything and you want to try it, then you know what? I would rather do that than nothing. Absolutely. The principle is sound. Will it work? Uh, there are people who have, who have stopped gunshot wounds with this stuff. Some fatal gunshot wounds and stop the bleeding with this stuff. There's all kinds of medical journals on the benefits of cayenne. It's all founded on solid, solid research. I've used the stuff myself. <laughs>